Hey, Dan Sissick here, and today I want to talk to you um, once again about um, something I've talked about before, mindset, but I'm looking at it from a different point of view and dealing with something I just dealt with and got off a great telephone call with uh, somebody who I've connected with on Facebook, and actually I connected with her through some exchanging on Facebook but it was because of an issue I was going through a little while ago and she gave me some great um, points and uplifting uh, thoughts and things to help me get past that so I reached out to talk to her because right now I'm dealing with some things that um, were taught you know that there are temporary setbacks or things that you know we need to just plow through or get through so that way we can help get to our next level or that next point we want to get but my issue is I tend to sabotage myself, I think, a little bit. And you may be doing this too, is in your day-to-day -day stuff with regular life or even with trying to build a business or family, friends. There are things you do and when something happens or something isn't quite um, the way you were thinking or planned out, um, like me, you know, it seems to be that if I get a little bit ahead uh, financially, something comes up and wipes it out and then it has an effect on me that causes me to kind of just retract and retreat a little bit and kind of get into a pity party or woe with me or you know why does this keep happening and I'm trying to learn and understand that so I can get past that or recognize it or know it or get past it before it happens or not to let it happen or to lessen the severability of it sorry hard word for me to say um, but in doing that she gave me a great a couple great points and the one point she helped me to understand is and uh, she taught about a, a lawn and where when you're walking across the lawn how after a while you'll wear a path and after a while if you keep doing it it's going to be a dead path it's going to not be able to grow anything because it's so worn and doesn't have the things it needs to well, that's kind of like how we are with our nature and stuff. Through years and life of growing up, yeah, a lot of our things are set in the first five, six years of our lives of growing up. So after that, we have everything so set in that it just gets retrenched, retrenched, retrenched. So then as we come along and try new things or do things or something comes up, it becomes um, like, whoa, or why? Or we revert back to things because it's the way we are. We haven't learned to retrain our mind and we're walking on that same path that dead path and what she kind of helped me to understand is that's part of where I tend to have my setbacks it's not the big problem the big thing I can get past those because they're not of the ordinary thing they're not of the everyday life it's the everyday life issues and things that I tend to deal with and the setbacks and things like that and I sabotage it from there so it's in learning how to get off that path and move on to a new path and create as she says a new path neural you know connections and pathways in my brain to help override those old uh, paths and detrimental paths in some cases or things that help keep me from moving forward and in this it gave me that little green light now I have this lawn where it's a big beautiful green lawn sitting in front of me but there's this one big dead dark brown path going across it from where it's been worn and where people walked out across to get to their mailbox or whatever she used that as a and it's made sense to me it's like wow that's been me I keep going and I revert to that well now it's now that I'm aware of that a little bit more hopefully I can move forward and change that and step off of it or as I'm in the middle of that path realize oh I need to get off this is not what I want this is not where I want to be I need to get off this path and look for a new way of how to deal with this or handle this and I think it gave me a little bit of empowerment gave me a new sense of how to deal with some of these things and to go back and realize that a lot of this is just things that have been set dead in in me for all my life and it may be part of that with you so I hope you got a little bit of uh, good information here uh, if you'd like to know more about what I'm about just check out uh, my information below and talk to you later thanks